Hi, I'm Joseph Falvo, Certified Financial Planner. Today we're going to talk about market timing. So why is it that many investors feel the urge to time the stock market, right? Since 1950, stocks have actually been in the bull market 83% of the time. Despite all the crises, despite all the crazy things going on, despite all the corrections, 83% of the time we've been in a bull market on a yearly basis. So you would think investors would be happy with that kind of results, but that isn't the case. Right? Investors spend a lot of time and energy attempting to avoid losses, which ironically hurts or lowers their long-term performance. So let's talk about the cost of time in the market. Morningstar recently had their annual Mind the Gap report, which compared investor performance with the underlying investments that they are in. They found that over the last 10 years, investors underperformed the very fund they were invested in by an average of 1.7% per year. By the way, that finding is not unique. It confirms uh, what Vanguard, Vanguard also found out too. So this underperformance is largely attributed to the timing of purchases and sales of securities. Investors are usually influenced to buy things after they've gone up. They're chasing the hot uh, stocks or chasing what is hotter at the time and sell after experiencing losses as they attempt to get to some sort of safety. But with a market that's historically positive 83% of the time, why do we feel the urge to do this, right? Well, we could thank your brain, right? Our desire to avoid all losses, even losses that may be temporary, is driven by the way we are hardwired, right? Our brains are sensitive to financial loss because they are viewed as a threat. They threaten our comfort, our uh, potentially our livelihood, and what does the brain do with a threat? It seeks to avoid and eliminate the threat, right? It's like a, a knee-jerk reaction. Therefore, the urge to time the market is completely normal and it's natural, but that doesn't mean it's beneficial for us, right? Investors may wish, or they should, uh, exert greater control over these urges so they can make better investment decisions for the long run. So I think that is a wonderful thing to set out to do, but it's very difficult, right? In my experience, it's very hard for people to do that. You need almost superhuman willpower to overcome these innate urges. I have identified two ways to make it easier to control the urges to time the market. Uh, one is don't watch the markets, right? If you don't look, the urges dissipate. They lose their power, right? Two is talk with me. That's what I'm here for. All right. Timely perspectives can help investors remain grounded and help you to make decisions decisions that are in line with your plan. These videos are meant to help you with that. A lot of the things I said on email help you to do that as well. I hope this message helps you.